Imagine a world so battered, so violently assembled, that it looks like a cosmic Frankenstein. A moon pieced together from mismatched parts, with canyons 12 times deeper than the Grand Canyon and cliffs that dwarf anything on Earth. This is Miranda, one of Uranus's moons. When Voyager 2 sent back the first close-up images in 1986, scientists were stunned by its chaotic, jumbled landscape. Miranda looked shattered and reassembled, a geological puzzle that defied explanation. This moon forced us to rethink how planetary systems form and evolve. Before Voyager, we thought moons were simple, dead worlds. Miranda whispered a different story, one of violence, gravity, and cosmic upheaval. The encounter shattered our preconceptions and opened our minds to new possibilities. Miranda was not just a moon, it was a lesson in cosmic humility, showing our solar system is alive and dynamic. Voyager 2's journey began not with confirmation, but with a profound mystery. It set the tone for a mission that would reveal the astonishingly alien in our own cosmic backyard. Miranda was just the first of many revelations, a prelude to a symphony of discovery. Voyager 2 and its twin, Voyager 1, were born from a rare planetary alignment in the late 1970s. This alignment allowed a single spacecraft to slingshot from Jupiter to Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, saving fuel and time. Launched in August 1977, Voyager 2 was set on a path to visit all four gas giants. Its mission study atmospheres, magnetic fields, rings, and moons, worlds we'd only seen as fuzzy dots. The probes were built with 1970s tech, less memory than a car key fob, but were designed to be reprogrammed from billions of miles away. This adaptability was crucial as Voyager 2 ventured into the unknown. For 12 years, it was our eyes and ears at the edge of the solar system. Each flyby, Jupiter in 1979, Saturn in 1981, Uranus in 1986, Neptune in 1989, brought discoveries that rewrote textbooks. The mission was a journey into the great unknown, armed with cameras and instruments. Voyager 2's postcards from the outer planets astonished the world. It was humanity's first detailed reconnaissance of the outer solar system, and it proved that even on a shoestring budget, audacious vision can change our understanding of the cosmos. In July 1979, Voyager 2 arrived at Jupiter, revealing a world of violence and complexity. The Great Red Spot was a massive storm, larger than three Earths, raging for centuries. Voyager 2 captured a planet alive with storms, lightning, and swirling eddies powered by internal heat. It confirmed Jupiter's atmosphere is mostly hydrogen and helium, with colorful bands from trace gases. The probe flew through a vast, deadly magnetosphere, larger than the full moon in our sky. But the biggest surprise was Io, Jupiter's moon, alive with volcanoes spewing sulfur into space. This discovery of active volcanism beyond Earth was revolutionary. Jupiter's system was a miniature solar system, with diverse moons and even a faint ring. The encounter showed us that even familiar worlds held profound surprises, and it set the stage for even greater discoveries to come. In August 1981, Voyager 2 sailed past Saturn, revealing the true complexity of its rings. What looked like solid bands from Earth were thousands of ringlets, ice particles from dust grains to house-sized chunks. The probe discovered transient spokes and tiny shepherd moons sculpting the rings, showing a dynamic, evolving system. Saturn's rings were young, possibly the remnants of a shattered moon. Saturn itself was a world of extreme winds, over 1,100 miles per hour, and a powerful, puzzling magnetic field. Voyager 2 also studied Titan, Saturn's largest moon, confirming its thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and hinting at methane lakes below the haze. The Saturnian system was more complex and beautiful than we'd imagined. The probe's discoveries paved the way for future missions like Cassini-Huygens. Saturn's rings and moons became a laboratory for understanding cosmic dynamics. Voyager 2 transformed Saturn from a distant icon into a living, evolving world. After a five-year journey, Voyager 2 became the first and only spacecraft to visit Uranus in January 1986. Uranus is tilted on its side, rolling along its orbit with bizarre seasons. 42 years of sunlight, then 42 years of darkness. 
The planet's pale blue-green haze hid subtle storms and faint cloud bands, revealed only after image enhancement. Uranus's magnetic field was wildly tilted and offset, likely generated in a slushy conductive ocean, not its core. The magnetosphere twisted into a corkscrew by the planet's sideways spin. Voyager 2 discovered 10 new moons, including chaotic Miranda, and studied Uranus's dark, narrow rings. The rings were sharply defined, hinting at unseen shepherd moons. Uranus broke many planetary rules, challenging our models of how worlds work. The encounter was brief, but it transformed Uranus from a distant speck into a complex, bewildering world. Voyager 2's visit revealed a planet and system unlike any other. Uranus became the solar system's true oddball. Voyager 2's final planetary stop was Neptune in August 1989. Scientists expected a quiet world, but Neptune was alive with storms and deep blue beauty. The Great Dark Spot was a massive storm with the fastest winds in the solar system, over 2200 miles per hour. Even with little sunlight, Neptune's internal heat powered its wild weather. The probe discovered faint, clumpy rings, more arcs than full rings, stabilized by Moon Galatea. Neptune's moon Triton was the true showstopper, a frigid world with active geysers erupting nitrogen into space. Triton's retrograde orbit suggested it was a captured object from the Kuiper Belt. The discovery of cryovolcanoes on Triton was revolutionary. Geological activity at the solar system's edge. Neptune's encounter was a stunning finale, leaving us with more questions than answers. Voyager 2's grand tour ended with a flourish of cosmic surprises. Voyager 2's journey revealed the astonishing diversity of the outer solar system's moons. Once thought to be inert, these worlds proved dynamic and unique. From Io's volcanoes to Triton's geysers, moons became active worlds with complex geology. Europa's smooth, icy surface hinted at a subsurface ocean, making it a prime candidate for life. Saturn's Enceladus showed hints of activity, later confirmed by Cassini. Miranda and other Uranian moons displayed canyons and fault systems. Voyager 2 showed that heat and liquid, whether water, rock, or nitrogen, could exist in many forms. The conditions for active worlds aren't limited to the habitable zone. The universe is more resourceful than we ever imagined. After Neptune, Voyager 2's planetary mission was over, but its journey continued. It sped into the outer heliosphere, measuring solar wind and cosmic rays in unexplored territory. Its next goal, cross the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends. In November 2018, over 11 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 2 entered interstellar space. Its instruments detected a sharp drop in solar wind and a rise in cosmic rays, a clear sign it had left the sun's bubble. Voyager 2's data revealed the interstellar medium was denser and colder than expected. Today, its power fades, and its instruments are slowly shutting down. But its legacy is immortal, a silent emissary drifting through the Milky Way for millions of years. Voyager 2 is a ghost ship carrying the story of our curiosity into the stars. Bolted to Voyager 2 is the Golden Record, a 12-inch gold-plated disc, a message in a bottle for the cosmos. Curated by Carl Sagan's team, it holds 115 images, greetings in 55 languages, and the sounds of Earth, wind, rain, laughter, music from Bach to Chuck Berry. The cover is etched with instructions, a map of our solar system, and a pulsar map to locate our sun. The odds of it being found are tiny, but that's not the point. The golden record was made for us, a reflection on what it means to be human. It's a symbol of hope, curiosity, and our desire to connect. The act of creating it forced us to consider what best represents humanity. Voyager 2 now sails silently through interstellar space, carrying not just data, but our dreams. Its journey continues, a testament to our urge to explore and share our story. As we look to the future, Voyager asks, where will we dare to go next? The cosmic ocean awaits.